Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I want to show you how to fade in or fade out MIDI in Reaper. As you probably already know, we can fade in or fade out audio very easily by going to the upper left corner, see how the cursor changes, and just dragging it over to the right, or to fade out, do the same thing on the upper right side. Just bring it over, and it'll fade in and fade out our audio. But you might not know, we can also do this with MIDI. So I have a drum track over here that starts off with a fill. So it sounds like this. But we can fade in that drum fill the same way. Go to the upper left corner, see how the cursor changes, and just drag it over to how far we want to fade it in. And now it sounds like this. And we can change the shape of it by right clicking and choosing linear or having it fade in quicker at the beginning or slower at the beginning. or any of these fade shapes. Let's put it back to linear, so it fades in in a linear fashion. Now it's important to note, we're not actually adjusting the volume. We're changing the velocity of the MIDI notes. And we can see that if we double click the MIDI item, here's the drum fill right here, But if we fade it in, let's render it over here, Control Alt on the PC or Command Option on the Mac, and just drop it, and it renders over here. And now the fill looks like this, where the volume starts down low and slowly goes up, in this case with a linear fade. So that's different from a volume change, where a volume change is going to sound like this. The intensity of the snare hit is exactly the same, but with a lower volume. Where if we do it with velocity, it changes the sound of the sample. If you're using a sample that responds to velocity in that way. So if we do it like this, with a fade, it sounds like this. So it's important to notice that distinction, because in different situations, you might prefer volume or velocity. So let's create a fade in and a fade out on my string track. Let's hear it now. Notice it fades in here and fades out over here. And if we want to create a fade in or a fade out in different sections that are not the beginning or the end, we can still do that by splitting our items. So I can go right here and split the strings, hit S, and then fade this in instead. But there's one problem with doing it this way. Everything fades in from zero, no matter what shape we choose. They're all going to start at zero. But we can fix that by fading even earlier. Just right click, go to item settings, and turn off loop item at source. So the item's not going to loop. And now we can drag the left side, and it moves the fade even earlier. So the beginning is a bit louder than zero, or the velocity starts a bit higher.
and we can readjust it by changing where the fade starts. So now it's a bit louder. But let's put it back to here. Let's do the same thing with this one. Let's turn off the looping. But if we trim this back, it's going to replace this item over here. So let's first turn off under options, trim content behind media items. Let's also change it so you could see overlapping media items in lanes. So I can drag this over to here and it overlaps with this one. So we can get the same fade in that starts a bit higher, even with two items that are next to each other. And we can do the same thing at the end, make it a bit longer so it doesn't completely fade out over here. So it's very flexible as the fades can start a bit later. So it's not starting at zero or with the lowest possible velocity. But let's check out this next track here called Plucked. And it sounds like this. This is a great sound to show you how the velocity can change the sound of the instrument. So I fade this in and then out. Notice how the sound changes. See how the velocity down here makes the sound more filtered over here and over here. That's based on the preset that I chose. But again, it sounds very different from using volume. So if I undo this and instead use volume, it's going to sound like this. It's still very bright and very transient, where if we use velocity, it sounds like this. So that's important to keep in mind when we're choosing which way we want to go, using velocities or volume. So when we fade in or fade out the MIDI, it's going to sound a bit different. In fact, we could also control the velocities with the knob right here which shows up by default in our preferences, appearance, media, it's gonna show up as a handle. But we can drag right from here, up and down. That's also gonna affect the velocities. So at full volume, it sounds like this. But if I bring it up and down, it'll change the velocity of the whole item, which for this preset will affect the tone or the filter. which is why it reacts to fading in and fading out in this way. So that's pretty much it. That's fading in and fading out MIDI in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!